Hey guys, this is Aaron. I saw a post on our forums, forums.sketchup.com. If you're not there already, you should really check it out. And the question was about creating a pyramid. Like, what was the best way to do it? And I thought it was kind of a cool question because I immediately had an answer in my head. And the next two answers in the thread were different from the one that I thought of. And really, it comes down to what tools you like best, but also what information you have or what specific, uh, how much detail you need, specifics, that kind of thing. So I thought it might be kind of fun for today's skill builder to look at a pyramid served three ways. So with that, we're going to hop right in. All right. So right here, I have a square. This is just 100 feet by 100 feet. Just I just drew a square on the ground with a rectangle tool. Pretty simple. So I want to look at a couple different ways to create a pyramid from this. Now, one of the things that's going to change how you want to build a pyramid is how much specific information you here. All I need is a pyramid shape. I don't really care how tall it is or what size the triangles are on the side. Uh, that one's pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and grab the line tool. I'm going to draw a line one corner to the opposite. And then again, so I end up with a big X laid over the square. Now, I'm going to grab the move tool and I'm going to hover over the center point, click that end point, and I'm going to raise it vertically. I'm going to hit the up arrow on my keyboard to lock into a vertical axis and just scan back until I get to, uh, I don't know, say there. I don't know exactly how tall that was, but that gave me a pyramid. Now, one of the things that this particular workflow does, of course, is gives you a hollow pyramid. There's nothing on the bottom here, so I would need to come over here and just draw a line on one side to close up that pyramid. I also have my pyramid inverted right now. These are inside faces facing outside. So one thing I'll, one thing I want to do is triple click, right click, and reverse faces. That's going to give me the right side out on all five sides. So that's the simple solution. That's number one. That's using the move tool to pull that straight up. That one's simple. All right. Not that any of these are complex. I shouldn't say it's simple like the way till you see what happens next. No, this is this is a, a, just a different method. So if, for example, I knew exactly how tall I wanted my pyramid to be, I could draw it slightly differently. I'm going to do this by putting a line at the very center of the square and going straight up the distance I want. I'm going to say that I want this pyramid to be 70 feet tall at the peak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some inferencing. I'm going to come to the middle point right here and drag across. No clicking, just, just move my mouse over. That gives me the middle line right there. I'm going to come up to this top line, find the midpoint, and start pulling that down the green axis. Again, no clicking, just hovering, and then as soon as I find the point where they both meet, I'm going to click right there. Now I'm going to draw a line on the blue axis as long as I'm going up like that, and I'm going to type in 70 feet, enter. All right, that gives me my four sides and the spot that, that I want the triangles on the sides to come up to. Now it's just a matter of connecting that center point to each of those sides. Now I have a, I have a uh, pyramid that is exactly 70 feet tall. The, I don't want to use the term issue because it has negative connotation, but the thing I need to remember now is when I drew that, I did draw this extra line on the inside, so I may want to come in here, peek inside, delete that, and now I have my five sides. All right, that's pretty good. Now, what if we got something, I don't know, I don't want to say complex, but let's say I'm going to slide this guy over here. We're, we're, we're going to be set apart on this one. Let's say I want to do something like, uh, I don't know, say I want my side to be 70 feet. So I'm going to come over here on one side, and I'm going to draw a triangle like that. All right, that is what one of my sides should look like. I want that to meet with the middle. So now I gotta think about how am I gonna go about finding that middle point? Well, let's, let's do the same thing we did before. Let's put a line right here at the middle. Let's grab this and just, just double click on the surface to highlight the whole thing. And then I'm gonna use my rotate tool on my red axes, I'm just going to go right to the center and take this midpoint up to, this is one of the issues I'm going to run into right here. I can't tell it to hit 
that line. There's not a, a snap to where this surface would hit this surface. That's not a choice. I don't, I don't have that as an option. So what can I do? Well, I'm glad I asked. What I can do is I can put an arc in. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a standard arc. I'm going to come to the same middle point. Go to my red axes. Click here and just bring that around. And this will actually give me that intersect point. So I can click right here. As soon as it does that, I can just delete this piece and this piece. And now I can do that rotate. I can come to the middle point, red axes, click, click, bring that around, boom, right there. All right, that's one side. What do I have to do to get the other three sides? Well, I can kind of shortcut this because I can select this side, hit rotate. I'll use the same point, that middle point of the square. And I'll say I want to move it from this point to, uh oh, got to hit my modifier key to copy. Now I'm making a copy around to this side. If I type 3x, that's going to give me three copies. And now with that, I've created a third pyramid where the triangle has a very specific distance. So here we were. This was arbitrary, quick pyramid, easy, one move command. This was a pyramid of a specific height. So this is where I, I established my height first and built my triangles down from there. This pyramid has triangles of a very specific length rotated up to meet each other. So there we go. That is what I call a pyramid served three ways. So I know that was a little weird. That wasn't a, a specific workflow or a deep dive into a tool or modifier, but I thought it was a really cool question. Can you guys think of other things like that where you could think of different ways to input the same thing? If you like this video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe. We come out with a couple of videos a week and we'd love to tell you when they come out. And we can only do that if you hit the subscribe button. Most importantly though, that comment field. I want to hear of use cases like this where you think, I could think of two or three ways to draw this thing. Let me hear about it down in the comments. Or if I missed one, if there's actually four ways to draw a pyramid, tell me about that too. And of course, if you have a good idea for a skill builder that's totally unrelated, tell us all about that. We like making these videos, but we like them a lot more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.